The John Deere W200 Windrow's almost here, and today we've got a sneak peek. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look mod showcase of Polycount Modding's John Deere W200 Windrow. This is currently in testing with Giants right now and should be here in the next few days. So, what is coming? Well, Let's take a look. Paul Account says the days can be long during harvest. That's why the W200 series windrows are designed to meet your demanding productivity requirements. Its thoughtfully designed cabin offers greater visibility and additional comforts to make your day manageable in the field. This right here is a mower at the end of the day in the game. 235 horsepower, 568 liters of fuel. That's massive. 21 mile per hour max speed, 4.3 meter working width. It is very, very well designed. Absolutely beautiful machine. Wheel brands, we have Lizard, we have Michelin tires, Midas tires, as well as Trellebork. These have all been added in over the uh, past few weeks since the last time we took a look at this. So now you've got Blizzard, if you want to use like a balloon tire type thing. If you're running Michelin tires on your American farm, which I'm sure you are, but you got those. And you have Midas tires if you like those. And Trelleborg, for those of you in European regions, places like that, whatever you want to use, it really doesn't matter. Just choose the one you like. Today, we're going to use the Michelin tires. Let's see. As far as everything else, we have extra step, no and yes. That's just going to add a small little extra step here on the end. That's it. And then engine setup, we have two of them. We have a 235 horsepower variant and a 260 horsepower variant. Otherwise, that is it. That is all of the customization on this. However, the design, the design, the decals, everything just looks really, really good. We've gone with a full decked out version here with the Michelin tires and the extra step. So why don't we jump in and let's take a listen. Polycount Modding has been working on this machine over the past few months and is, oh man, I'm throwing it, has really, really, really been focusing on getting this to you guys as quickly as possible. So why don't we jump in and let's get a little bit of mowing done. I do know that workers work very well with this. Of course, you've got beacons, things like that. You can't unfold anything. All you've got is a lower and raise. So what we've got whenever we lower and raise, this is kind of neat. We've got a latch right here. It's going to go. Oh. I messed it up. I broke it. I'm so sorry. There we go. Ah, of course I did it right when I was going away. But it lowers it down. Looks very, very nice. It will follow the ground. Uh, if you've got different ground types, whatever, it will go over those easily, just like normal mowers will. And let's turn it on. Let's take a look and see. So we get a very wide swath whenever you go in and mow. Otherwise, looking very, very good. As you can see, we have a 15 mile per hour max speed. That is normal, by the way. That is not like me getting in here and doing something fancy with it. We've got a 15 mile per hour <laughs> working speed, which is great. Um, if you've got other things like PC mods, crazy stuff like that, you can expand that out if you wish. So that is pretty cool. And also, can we fast farm with this? Well, let's find out. It's going to get up to our max speed of 15 right there and then give it a little double tap. Yes, we can. So if you are on console and you want to fast farm with this, you can easily do that. Very, very cool. I do apologize. I've got a couple uh, couple issues with uh, visuals. I'm using my second PC right now because A2 Studio is in there working on something really really nice for you guys i can't wait for you guys to see it it's so cool he won't even let me tell you he threatened me it was awful <laughs> so there you go that is it as far as workers dj does this work with workers 
absolutely this works with workers. We should probably set it up correctly first, but there you go. Uh, it may take them a little bit of time to get straightened up, but it'll work. Hey, it worked just fine. This is a really cool mod. Absolutely beautiful. I know a lot of you have been asking for a self-propelled John Deere mower or John Deere windrow, however you want to call it. This right here is going to fit the bill perfectly. As with anything like this that only uses two wheels to power it, but has four wheels on the ground, uh, you can sometimes get a little bit lost <laughs> with your steering, just like I've done right there. So if you are going a little too fast and you turn sharp left, well, you're just going to do a 360 and you're going to keep going the way you were going. Slow down, turn easy, and then speed up. Or turn very, very slowly. Don't just turn in because, again, it's going to do that. Actually, you can do donuts with this if you want to, which is really cool. But if you just keep going, it's just going to keep doing it. It's just going to keep spinning. Another thing that they've done is they've added tons and tons of detail to the rear wheel. So you can see right here. All of the, uh, the lines are running. Everything is working good. What do you think about that? It works on both sides. They are independent of each other. So whatever one does, the other one doesn't have to do. They work on their own. This machine is insane. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. But hopefully it's going to be here soon. That's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the jump if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you have any questions about this mower, drop those down in the comment section below. I'd love to help you guys out and answer any questions that you have on this mower. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.